cardio, 30 seconds on. Then you'll rest for 30, 30 seconds, right? Then you'll move to your push-ups, then you'll move to squats, then you move to core, okay? That'll be one round, we'll do three, okay? So just, it's 12 minutes, half of that is work, half of that is rest, okay? So when you're on your work, bust a move, and then you get 30 seconds off. 12 minutes, that's it, um, and then we'll move on to the next activity, okay? Go ahead and split up. to the lobby area. Um, if we have enough space there, we'll go there. If not, we'll find some tables. We'll go through like 10 minutes, 15 minutes of some team team classroom session, and then we'll eat. Okay? Good. Nice job. Yeah. Very good. So if you go through this, uh, you see growth goals, this is for a game. So we'll do these on practices too, okay? Because there's we, we're supposed to be growing up at practice as well. So. You see it's broken up into two, pre-game and game, okay? And then each one is broken up into mental and physical, okay? So we always talk about the game, the, the game is mental and the game is physical, right? If we just have physical goals, we're missing out. If we just have mental goals, we're missing out, okay? Um, so, and there's space there for you to write. So you're gonna just take some time today before you leave uh, or on the car ride or whatever that might be um, to go over this and to write down some goals, okay? SMART goals. What does SMART stand for? SWAT. No. <laughs> Specific. Measurable. Attainable. Realistic, I think. Time. 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 Say someone's goal is, I want to talk more, I want to communicate more. How can we be more specific? Make a goal to like, talk to everyone more. Okay, perfect. There you go. Like Talk to everyone in more. So we can easily measure that. What else? Good. Talk after every like pitch or every out. Okay, good. We can easily measure that. Yes, yeah, specific. Nice. Each one of us need to have personal goals and, and things that we want to accomplish today. And then the rest of it will take care of our, itself. Let's take advantage of, of this week in Colorado, the beautiful weather that we have, the awesome competition, the parks. I just want us to not lose sight of the small things, right? Of getting better, of not just going out there and playing. Okay, you guys are older. Yes. Okay, some of you are going off to college in like two months, okay? But that doesn't mean we don't get better. We always get better. There was a time you got And they're short Did the knockout? Yeah. There's like four of them. Yeah. Best vlog ever. That's your vlog? You just wait. No. That's your vlog or no, that's, that's a clip? A, that's a sneak peek. You see, I took this one when I was hiking yesterday. Gotta get that run and jump in there. I'll do a little slow-mo action on the vlog. <laughs> Let's see, what else was there? We were slaying the ski ball game. This was all last night. <laughs> Scandalous. Yeah. This is the life of an extreme elite player. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Oh, listen, this one's good. Bad. This one's good. This is when we were playing air hockey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I said I'm the black people, you're the white people. Who <laughs> played oh. foosball? She's like, <laughs> dubs, only dubs. here hit a home run that's four bases so I'm gonna give her a quad so I'm gonna say give me four one two three four okay all right give me four Whitney in the first game she did a hard slap yes. over the third mm -hmm. base yes hey, give me two the play Kaylee made in the first game where I almost hit her in the face. yes oh that yeah that was, nice. <laughs> that was nice what are we going to do again two oh. um, none of our pitchers let really big hits so. give me four I heard Whit talk today in the outfield okay Woo! Stopping the bleeding today when it started to snowball. Get out of hand? Yeah. Give me two. Okay, you got the rest of the day. Tomorrow Woo, we play at fun. two and four. We got a big afternoon and evening tomorrow. Woo. Two and four, and then we got the bash tomorrow night. Woo, woo. Oh, yeah. yeah. So oh, yeah. get some rest tonight. Fuel your body properly. Drink a lot of water, etc. You guys got the Keep go. improving. Street Pride on three. One, two, three. Street Pride. So where are we headed right now? We are heading to Aurora Sports Park, which is the main facility here for uh, the fireworks. Huge, huge complex. Probably my second favorite place to play. First place would be Christopher Fields, where we're playing on Thursday with a bunch of open areas out here. Get them used to the altitude, get them running a little bit, get those lungs burning. Most of them that have never been out here never believe that the altitude has an effect until they get out here and run the first time and then they sound like a freight train. <laughs> so. <laughs>
two things. The no complaining rule, like we talked about. The other thing I want to make sure we do is we grow. If things don't go our way, guess what? Crap happens. As long as you're going at 100%, stuff happens. Sometimes you're going to make a great play, sometimes you're not. But the idea is, you know, think about all the times, like take the Women's College World Series where that third baseman for Florida State made that fantastic diving play on the infield. How many times do you think she did that before she actually successfully did it? A ton. So she showed growth throughout her career to be able to make that play on the biggest stage possible. That's the same thing we're doing here. I don't, I don't expect you guys to be perfect. You're not going to be. None of us are. But what I do expect is you guys to learn and grow from every opportunity that we have. Remember, we get to be here. We get to be here. Not everybody gets to be here. Be thankful, grateful for the opportunity that we're here. And like I've said before, the way you respect your opponent the most is you give them your best game. And by giving them your best game, not your perfect game, your best game. Okay, so make sure make sure we understand that. The other the other kind of thing I want to make sure we do this week. So between this last weekend and between this week, we'll probably have spent close to 10 days together. We want to make sure that we are embracing, loving one another. Tonight we're gonna to do a, a fun little different exercise once we get together at nine to uh, challenge you guys a little bit. The the third thing I want to talk about, so last weekend, um, Friday night we talked a little bit about from I think two or three people about what extreme pride means to them. Okay, I want to continue that theme a little bit. Um, so I'm going to ask a couple people because, especially some of you who are newer to our program, you got to start feeling a little bit of what it means to be here. I want to start with Tammy just to talk a little bit about you know what extreme pride means to her. Extreme pride to me, it's like taking pride in like what we do like you know we always do things different we take pride in having like a strong mental side like we take pride in doing the little things right Alex she's been around a little bit so talk a little bit about what it means to you extreme pride is it goes beyond just extreme like what you do on the field what you do when you're at school like it's it's everywhere we'll continue this at a later point the last thing I want to do is I'm going to have you guys kind of go off a little bit individually to do this, but we're going to do um, we're going to do a little something called uh, Hero Heartache Highlight. Okay. And how this would work, I'm going to give you an example of me. My hero was my dad. My heartache was when he passed away 11 years ago, and it was it was a really 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 tough time. Um, my highlight was last year when you got, well, the people that were on this team actually came together in, after I took away the extreme pride thing, um, but you guys actually came together and won the Atlanta Legacy. That's a huge highlight for me. So, this is what I want you guys to do. Your hero, your heartache, and your highlight of your life. some of the things that, that everybody's had to deal with a little bit, which I think is which I think is healthy for all of us to actually share some of that, okay? Um, so again, thank you for doing that. So here's what I want to talk about next.